Well, hey there, everyone. It is me, Esther Barkew. Happy new moon to you. Uh, new moon happened uh, Sunday night, April 11th in North America, here in Europe, in Asia, in Australia. It's actually new moon is today, April 12th, just happened hours ago. And I worked really consciously with this new moon energy. First new moon of the astrological new year, new moon in Aries. So it's really that go for it, let's get it done. Uh, you know, vavoom energy, really uh, pushing us and, and driving us to make change in our lives. And so I just wanted to share with you my experience of how I use the new moon because there's still time to set things in motion under this new moon sky. And uh, maybe it'll give you some inspiration, motivation, or trigger a thought of awareness. So my name is Esther Barkew. I'm a core belief therapist, intuitive and energy reader, super fan and student of astrology. I combine core belief therapy, which is like a very deep uh, soul journey within of healing and holding and leveling up with psychological tips, tools, and techniques energy healing, spiritual mentoring to help you to create deep inner change and transformation in your life. And I am here just on the shores of the Adriatic Sea, still in Budva, Montenegro for a few more days. So listen, I'm going to be really honest with you. I got off track and I got off track right at the beginning of April. And I knew I was off track. Not in every ever area of my life. There were a couple of areas of my life. I just got off track. I lost motivation. Um, I was just kind of every day was a little bit drudgery. And even though I was aware this was not helpful, this was not going to support me, I just, I couldn't get out of it. It was really like a funk. I was off track and I was in a funk. So on Saturday the 10th, I took an excursion, one of my favorite ways to vibe up, and I went to Sveti Stefan. If you follow me on Instagram, at Esther Barkew, you, I've posted a ton of pictures there, so beautiful there. And while I was there, I was talking to God, I was talking to my higher self, and my higher self was like, girl, you got off track. <laughs> Let's get you back on track and let's use the new moon energies to do it. And I said, really great plan. Will you support me? And she said, of course I will. So we made a plan. So that day on Saturday, what I got very clear about was where I was off track and where I want to get back on track. So this was not about making a big leap of change in my life. I was just like, okay, I got sidetracked. I just need to get back where I was because that was a really good foundation for creating and moving forward. And then Sunday, which was April the 11th, right around noon time, I was guided again by my higher self to sit down, make a personal declaration of my desire to get back on track and do a little personal ceremony, which is fun. I love doing personal ceremonies. So you know when, when countries do agreements, they have like a personal ceremony. Uh, maybe if you have a business and you seal a deal, you do a personal ceremony, even if it's like, let's go out to dinner and, and celebrate. I like to do these personal ceremonies as well. It's something I taught in the confidence um, energy group that we did uh, just last year. And so I made my, my ceremony very simple. And I'm not a tea drinker, but I'm a coffee drinker. So I made a, a mug of coffee exactly how I love it. I sat on my sofa. I made my declaration today on April the 11th under this new moon, airy sky with my higher self and God and universe supporting me. I am declaring that I am turning things around. I am getting back on track. And then when I'm back on track, I'm going to use that as a foundation to continue to expand and to move forward. And then I just enjoyed and sipped my coffee. And I'm gonna tell you, oh my God, I had the best sleep last night. I woke up this morning, I woke up focused, motivated. I woke up with two pieces of really good news that tumbled into my, my email box. Um, I feel energized. 
I did such a big workout this morning because I felt energized again. And right now I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go do this video because I think somebody could benefit from this. Someone needs to hear this. And I'm on the way to the supermarket just to pick up a few items and then I have client sessions the rest of the day. We're doing those higher self sessions, which are fantastic. <laughs> but I wanted to just stop and, and, and to offer you this information and say it is not too late to work with these new moon energies. They're, they're still in effect. In fact, the new moon was just hours away. And then to always remember, you don't have to wait for a celestial event to happen in the sky. You can make change in your life anytime. You just have to commit to it. Maybe make that declaration. Maybe have a personal ceremony to kind of seal the deal and then follow through on the guidance that comes in. And of course, if at any time you need help doing this, maybe you've got a belief in the way or a patterning in the way or a doubt in the way, reach out to me, we can do sessions. Um, that is my specialty to help you to discover, explore and change those blocks within that are preventing you from having the life that you desire. All right, beauties. So as I said, I'm not gonna be here too much longer. Gosh, I love Montenegro so much. I have to leave after 90 days. My tourist visa comes up, so I'll be leaving, but I will be back because I just love it here so much. <laughs> All right. Love you lots. Happy new moon. Have a great week. Ciao for now.